Hello everyone, welcome to my third part of my blog tutorial. Um, I made a few changes to the source code. Um, you can actually see that I um, modified a little bit the, mo the blog model. So you have also a header. This is also a string. Um, this is like the description of the blog. And here I added this constraint to to the definition, so this means that um, the persistence RP actually handles this as a, as a text and not as a var char. This means you can save more than 255 um, characters in that field. So um, to read out all these blocks I've done so far, um, I have modified my controller in my application. Um, this is the line, so this is executing exactly that method down here, get all blocks. So it will return um, like a list of all blocks. Um, it's also It also includes, because this is a part of this object, all the comments for it. So um, let's have a look at this again. So this is saved in a list of blocks. And this gets actually rendered in the index HTML file. So let's have a look at the index HTML file. What changed here? As I said, we have now a list of blocks here. I called it blocks here, and it's a list with a type block. Um, so this is like, um, I can show you on here. Um, I don't know if I started, yes. Okay, I did. So I have two blocks here now. And this one has a comment. And also this one has a com um, another comment. And here we have our second block and with a comment down here. Maybe I should format it a little bit better so you can actually see what's a comment and what's not. Um, but this is not the main point here. So the next step is, um, how get we all our blocks inside this? So what I did here is, um, for every, this is like a for loop, for every block, for all blocks, every block, um, print out the header here and the text here. So the header is actually that part. And this here is the text of my block. Um, and here's the second block. So this is like iterating over this list. Um, in the next step, I said for every block comment, for all the comments in the block, because comments, you can remember in my block model, the comments is also a list. So I, I can iterate over all these comment texts um, inside the uh, inside a block loop. So um, what I didn't have so far is like because I said um, that I want to um, add the person and and like the login things later, and I want to add some functionality first, so you can actually see something. I think it's better. Um, I just left this aside so far. Um, what I also did. Because you can see, um, we have, I added the uh, MySQL DB driver as well. So this is like um, my driver, what I added in my application.conf. And also I had here um, this database, this block, and user and password is root in my, in my case. Um, what I also have to say is that um, you have to create the, data, the database or the schema in MySQL, otherwise it won't work um, when you try to test it and get it from GitHub. And also what you need to do is like um, uncomment this line. So this is like the default model for eBeam. Um, what you also have to do, um, I, I'll show you, um, so the roots file didn't change. So it's 
it's still like the application index controller. Um, what you also have to do, don't forget that. I don't know, where was it? Um, in the project folder, maybe? No. Um, here is it. Um, in the build from Scala, you have also to include the um, MySQL um, driver so it gets downloaded. Don't forget to restart the play application. So type in um, type in the play command again. Um, then it will automatically download that. I have this covered in another tutorial. Um, I just took it from there. So what's basically new is the global object. It's important so you can see that. It's important that you actually um, put the global object, it has to be named global, um, inside the app folder, in the root of the app folder. Um, I will show you what this global object does. <clears throat> it's in, in a, inherits from global settings and it has two methods like an on start method and an on stop method. Um, what this basically does, I just did it because I have no CRUD available at the moment. Um, so if there are no blocks inside the, um, inside the database, it will actually init some data so you do not have a blank screen. And what it does is like I create a new block here and save it. I also created another block here and saved it. And then I create some blocks, uh, some comments, and put actually um, the block from the comment to the, to an, to the block. So I connect like these two objects. Um, because actually, when you start your application the first time, this will actually go in and will create you some data so you have like basic data in your database. Um, I can show you that as well. I have here um, my two blocks as you can see and these two blocks here um, are filled and also um, I, you can see here um, these are my comments and that's it. Oh, I forgot to say, I commented um, the creation date out so far because we don't need this really at the moment. Um, so this is basically like um, the next step. And you can find the project if you have any questions. Of course, you can also ask them on YouTube. But basically, you can find this on my, um, on my GitHub account. I will post under the video. But if you have any questions, just let me know. And if anything is not clear at the moment, just ask a question on YouTube. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.